we're going to update our main product so here we have our products and we still don't have stocks for this product so I think we can we cannot use the stocks here so we'll just remove this or drop the column uh, we don't need it. here we can use these products and then we can add a new column so structure add one column after the image and we call it stop integer save now it's zero now what we're going to do here is so we have script for order history here script for updating the main product quantity So now we'll need to create a select query. So view order. Um, I think we can just copy, grab them. Uh, this one. So what we're going to do is we select the product ID. Um, in so this row ID we have a record of the products uh, here we can do uh, if you check the order of product we have this product ID so we can use that value to use that as a query to our product table so I believe if we do bottom statement and then fetch this will so let's try this one um we'll just um not this one try this one 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 die so we have our error um let's just remove try and catch so we'll see what's the error update one 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 fetch uh, So I guess we cannot get statement here. Um, it's just maybe fetch all. So if we cannot do that, um, there's nothing to worry about. We can just. Use uh, here PO product name. We can add a hidden input. So here we can have the PO quantity, the product ID, and then here since we have that column, also product. So order product that ID. I'm not the one. Order product. So let's add it to our column. And then here we'll add that product. Or capture that one so if we refresh mm, 
let's add a comma refresh so as you can see here if you look at our code we can see we have a hidden data so there's the row ID we have the product ID so we can then update our product IDs so just copy this one so P IDs mm, this one then here we can have P ID blah 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 I then value then here we'll have PID Push that PID, okay. This will be PID, and finally, we can use that PID is here. So now if we refresh network, if we update this one, as you can see here, 15 is the PID of this, if we refresh payload, as you can see we have that PID. Now we can just use the PID, uh, the product ID is out here use the one the product ID will be integer just PO PID and then here you can then use the one select so we need to add a select statement to pull the current quantity of product and then update statement to add the delivered product to the current quantity so we have a new or uh, what do we not knew about the updated product quantity so here we can have select go to our product table select products that stock id is equals to the product id so fetch if we do the product so it will be a product so if we update this one so I'll just add span so here we have an error fetch all oh, let's do it Fetch all on line 32. Um, so it will be soon. Okay, now we need to add the from products. 
update. So here we have the stock. So it to do is we'll add it to the current stock. We'll add product stock. Then here let's make sure we, it's an integer. Now here let's add another statement. So like this one. This will update the QDI. So update product set the stack. Move this other source ID equals product ID. So Here we we'll need to have the updated stock, which is basically the addition or the aggregate of current stock plus the quantity delivered. So stock Saturday and then here. This will be the product ID. So let's try if this will work. So here refresh. So this is product ID 15 and currently it has zero quantity. So let's just remove our set this one to zero remaining zero oh. here ordered one two three also here in our order history um, let's remove this rows so it's same we have update say this is incomplete we have 20 products delivered to us if we hit ok so it's successful now in our products we should have 20 so that's good here 20 one two remaining incomplete and also we have the order or the delivery history so now let's make this update this one again let's say we have three additional Date. so we should see that in our, our product history then here we have current stock is 20 so this should turn into 23 so it's good and finally let's make it to complete make it a hundred okay refresh should have 100 quantity remaining zero that's correct and then here we should have 123 on our current table or main product stack so that's basically it so in the next video i'm going to show you on how we can view the um, delivery or the product history inside this page and also in our main product we'll add the main stack or the quantity that we have so that's it thank you